Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful earrings with 10 mm Rivoli crystal. I'm showing the bezeling technique but don't worry if you have never done this, just get the needed materials and I will guide you step by step through the process. These materials are from Erica Sandor's collection, although you could find them separately on different websites. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, liking, sharing and commenting, also supporting me as a member, which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 10 mm Rivoli beads. Okay, I'll pick it up to show you here near the camera how beautiful it looks. And I'm also using teardrop crystals. Bicons, 3mm bicons, 16 of them, 8 per earring. These are two colors of 11 old Delica beads, white and grey. And I'm also using two colors of 15 old Delica beads, silver, dark silver and black. Here I use earring findings in silver color. This is fire line that is 0.005 inches or 0.12 millimeters. This is size 11 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and the beads that I'm using here are from Erica Sandor's collection that I mentioned several times. I'll give you a link to unboxing and to other videos from this collection. And because now I will be using 10 mm Rivoli crystal, I have a chart that tells me that with 10 mm Rivoli, if I want to bezel it, I always start with 28 beads. And that is why I'm going to pick up 28 of those beautiful grey beads and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I have 28 of those beautiful grey beads added here. And what I'm going to do next guys is to go around one more time through all of my beads, just like this. Now I have this. What I'm going to start now is called peyote stitch, guys. I take one white bead and you see I'm exiting out of this gray. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. And I have this. I'm going to repeat it. Take one, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Now you see my, bead, uh, my beads are like in a zigzag manner. Then I take another, skip this one that's on my way and I go through the following. Then I take another one, I skip one and I go through the following. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row.
okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row okay now I have this then I'm going to go to step up in the white bead okay and here I will make another row with white beads Take one and fill the gaps. And it is easier for me to turn it like this to one side. Okay, my friends and this is the last gap I'm filling in here and now what I want to do is to go through the next white and with this I'm stepping up in the next row okay you see what I have here now I'm going to pick up a black 15 0 and I'm going in this white bit another black 15 0 and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row It is super easy guys just fill in the gaps with black beads So now this is what I have and now I want to step up in one of my black beads. Another super easy row where I take silver beads and I just fill in the gaps between the black beads. It is so easy and so simple that I will show you only the first few steps and I will let you do this by yourself until the end 
Okay, this is my third step as I'm filling in the gaps. Okay, a fourth step. Okay, continue and meet me here. Okay, guys, and as I continue beading, here I am at my last step. I'm exiting out of a black bead and I'm filling the gap between it and the next black bead. And I'm pulling. Okay. So now, my friends, it is time to pick up this beautiful Rivoli crystal, 10 millimeter Rivoli, and to put it inside my peyote bezel. Here it is, it fits perfectly because as I told you I used the right amount of beads to start my bezel with, which were 28. And now what I want to do is go in this direction and exit through these four beads, two whites and two grey beads. And I'm pulling. Now I'm exiting through one of the beads that are sticking out, one of the grey beads that are sticking out, you see. And I will continue filling up gaps, guys. I take a black one and I go in the next bead that is sticking out and I pull. Okay, you see? Next to it I have another gap to fill. I take a black bead and I go in the next black one. You see the 18 O's are used to make this beautiful curl, curve and to be possible the crystal to be bezeled. Okay, you see, I think you got the idea. Now continue by yourself, filling the gaps and I will meet you here at this point. Okay, my friend, and I continue the same way and I just added this black bead. What I need to do is to step up in my next row, which consists of black beads, just like this. And I will fill in the gaps one more time. Okay, I'm taking a black one and I go in the next black, filling in the gap. Okay, another black, next black, just filling in the gaps. And I'm showing you third time and I'm sure guys, you will be able to do this by yourself. Absolutely the same way until the end. Okay, I'll leave it in your skillful hands to finish this row and meet me. Okay guys, and here I am adding my last black bead from this row. And now what I need to do is go in this direction through some beads, like that. Now I want to go through this white bead that's on my way. Okay, I'm here guys. And I'm taking one white bead. You see these two beads touching next to each other. I skip them and I go in the next white. Okay. You see from this perspective I have one bead, one white bead added here. I take another white. I skip these two beads touching next to each other and I go in the next white. Again a white bead. 
go in the next white the same way a white skip these two touching next to each other and go in the next white and it is absolutely the same thing guys just skip the two and go through this one and you see how it looks from this side another white and I go here in this white a white one and go in the next white okay and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll be back okay my friends and I'm adding here my last white bead from this row absolutely the same way as I did before now I'm going in this white bead here and I'm going to take one bicon and I'm going in the next white bead one green bicon next white bead then I'm going to take three silver beads and I go in the next white one bicon next white and three silver beads one bicon go here three silver beads and go here and I'm going to continue this guys until the end and I'll be back okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row now what I want to do is to reposition my thread and because I generally prefer to go in the other direction I will go diagonally through all of those beads like this and I want to exit guys through three of my silver beads okay I go like this and here I reach my silvers and I take guys here seven of these beautiful silver 15 O's okay seven of them and as I'm exiting uh, through this third beat I go in the next three beats okay first I went through two of them and now I'm going through the third one okay like this then I take seven more beads and I go in the same place here first through these two beads and then through the third one then seven again and I go here just like this okay and I will continue these guys until I'm up to here 
Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row. Now what I want to do is to make an additional thread pad guys. Why? Because I, I, I'm not satisfied how these beads sit and I want to make nice angles. And how I'm going to do this? I'm going to go through three beads of the seven that I added in this direction. I'm going to skip the one that's on my way and I'll go through the next three and through the next two of that are on my way. I mean through three of the seven and through the following two if you understand me. So now in fact I reach the angle here. Okay and when I pull you see I have this bead sticking out and forming a nice angle. Okay then what I want to do is go again in this direction. So now I've been through the two of the three beads that I added in my previous row. Okay guys, now I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay. And the seven that I added uh, last time, now I went through two of them. I want to go through the third one as well. And I'm skipping here the central one. And I go through as many beads as I can in this direction. Okay, when I pull I have this beautiful angle here. Then I'm going to repeat this. Go through some beads in this direction. But I want to go through three for counting from this angle. One, two, and this is the third one. Then I skip the fourth one and go through as many beads as I can. And now I formed three angles here. And I want to continue this until the end and I will do this four more times and I'll be back. Okay my friends and now I did all the angles here and now I'm, I'm exiting through one of them and what I want to pick up is one seed bead, one three millimeter bicon, then two seed beads and my teardrop crystal. Okay, if you don't have teardrop crystal you could leave your work like this and just add the earring finding but now I will show you this way. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up two more of those beautiful seed beads and as I'm exiting from the other side of the crystal I want to go back through this bicon here and through the next seed bead. You see what I do. So take two and go back through the crystal and through the seed bead. And I'm going to pull And when I pull I have this and I want to push it as close as possible to my work. Now my thread is exiting out of this bead from this side. That is why I want to go through the same bead but from the other side. And I pull. Okay. Now this is attached. I won't go second time through it because I want it to dangle. Now guys, what I want to do is to reach the other side of my work. I will just zigzag through my beads and I want to exit out of this bead. I won't do this on camera because 
it is it will be too long but i'm sure you know how to zigzag and reach this point okay see you in a while okay my friends and now i'm exiting here out of this bit and what i want to take is seed bead earring finding and seed bead and i'm going backwards through this bead okay like this now i'm going to reinforce it to make a knot and cut my thread And in order to cut my thread, I'm going through some beads here. Maybe I could go at the back of my work, in fact. And here I will make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, pull, go through some beads in this direction. And cut this tail thread. If it sticks out, you could burn it with a zipper okay okay guys and now my 10 millimeter rivoli seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more similar videos it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell also like share and comment and if you want to support me you could do it as a member which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.